Okay, guys. This here is an Onan generator that I picked up in the fall. It's a 5,000 um, watt generator. It's actually in uh, a 5cck pull start, um, which is interesting. I kind of wanted this particular model because I didn't want to deal with the battery. I'm worrying about a battery running low, recharging, all that other happy stuff. Um, I got it home, pressure washed it off. It, it looked pretty bad. I'll see if I can try to find a picture of what it looked like before. Um, the gentleman I got it from said that uh, it didn't start. As a matter of fact, it's sat since, I think, 1970 or something in, in someone's basement. Um, I don't know if that was true or not. I think he just bought it at, uh, at an estate sale or something. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. But uh, got it home, pressure washed it, cleaned it up a little bit, put a quick paint, uh, paint job on it. This paint job is uh, by no means uh, a, a really good paint job. I just wanted to put something on it <clears throat> just to get it uh, in decent looking shape. At a later point in time, I'll probably go through the entire engine um, and do a nice professional job on it because I think I'm going to keep this particular one. I love the fact that it's pull start. It is a little bit hard to start. Uh, you got to have a lot of muscle to pull that thing, a lot of compression uh, trying to pull that. Uh, sometimes, uh, I know a lot of guys don't like it, but sometimes I'll put a quick shot of ether in there uh, to get it started. What I really like about it is, you know, there's a five gallon can on top of there. Uh, it's a five gallon gas tank, so it does hold five gallons. If you run it every few many hours, you know, get your refrigerator, freezer, you know, shut it off. You know, you could probably, that five gallon tank should at least last you uh, a day, uh, if not longer. Uh, what I have here now, this particular model is a 120 volt only model, and I bought this uh, transformer a while ago. Um, it's an auto transformer. Bought this a while ago, never actually hooked it up, so this will be the first time I hooked it up, but it is a 120 to 240 volt transformer, so I'm just curious to see how many volts we're going to get, uh, if it even works. I bought this about a year and a half ago. It just seems like every single Onan I find is 120 volt only in the 5,000 or less wattage. Um, I got one that I picked up was a 4,000 watts, uh, that is a 3CR, so it'll do 120, 240. Uh, that one's going to need a lot of work. I'm still working on that one. But I wanted to buy one of these transformers, uh, you know, just to see uh, if I can get 240. I don't have anything to hook it up today. I, I have a heater that's 240, but I just don't feel like hooking it up. But anyway, what we're going to do today is uh, I'm going to try to pull start it, and we're going to do a load test on it. Uh, this particular one, uh, when I tested it earlier, it's the closest I've ever seen to uh, specs, meaning that, you know, it's, I think it starts out at 125 volts, 61 hertz, and under full load, I think it goes like to 122 volts and, and almost uh, 60 hertz. Uh, some of the other ones I have, they drop a little lower, you know, the voltage will get down to, you know, 110, 111, 112, and uh, the hertz always seems to be fine, it's just the voltage that drops off a little bit. Uh, so this, uh, I don't really don't think this one was used that much, to be totally honest with you. It seems to have a lot of compression and it seems to be very close to within specs uh, from the manufacturers and we'll, we'll show you that here we'll look at the volts what I have here is three heaters and you know, they're about 1500 watts each so this is a 5000 watt generator we're gonna put about 4500 watts on it and um, then what we're also going to do is take a look at the 240 volt. Uh, I know this isn't the safest scenario having exposed wires and uh, whatnot, but I'm going to try to be as careful as I can here and um, try not to uh, electrocute myself. So uh, here we go. I, <clears throat> I'm going to have to try to put the camera down, I think, when I start this thing because I'm going to need two hands. Uh, what I'm going to do is give this thing here a pull right here, and that's going to take all my might. So uh, I'm going to put the choke on a little bit. It's about 50 degrees out today, and uh, I'm going to give the uh, fuel pump here just a, a few ins and outs. Try to get some fuel in there. If this doesn't work, I'll shoot a shot of Ethernet, but I'm going to have to set this camera down. I don't know if I can balance it here. I'll give it a shot. No, it's not gonna work. Okay. As I was messing with the camera, it shut off, so... I w it took me about four starts to get it. It's got this wee little exhaust on it. It doesn't sound terribly too loud. 
I'll probably convert it. But uh, here we go. Let's see if we can get it in there. a low and a high. There's low. I'm sorry, there's high. So what we'll do now is come back and check. Hopefully you can see this. The Hertz is at 60. The Volks is at 120. Okay, it's the closest looking one I've ever seen to spec. Now, here's a picture of the exhaust. It was blowing a little bit of bit of smoke. Wait, it's in there. It had a little bit of smoke when it first came out. Now I've also looked at the transformer dead on to 240. So what we got here is 4,500 watts going through all three of these heaters. Engine sounds really good. Not blowing any smoke at all. Can definitely tell it's under a load though. Um, I don't know. Again, if you can see that, there, that's 119.3, 119.5, 119.8. We'll just let it under full load for a while. Like I said, it started up, I don't know, I think it was the third or fourth pull I gave it there. So I got kind of lucky. Sometimes when it's pulled out, it's a little harder to start than that. You'll see a puff of smoke every now and then out of that exhaust. You can tell it's under load. vibration to it. She's working though. See, I don't know if you can see it in that video, but there is a Every now and then you get a little bit of smoke out of the exhaust. And again, I really have not went through this engine yet. I haven't went through the heads. I have not cleaned it up. And it's performing very well the way it is. So I, I think it was either not used or very well maintained, one of the two. Very, very happy with this purchase though. Putting us almost full load on this generator right now. Like I said, I've never seen one that was this close to spec. Let's see if I can get the hurt in there. You can see, hopefully you can see that. 60.2 is what it says, but you can't see it. 60.2. I'm a little upset, that light bulb down here was working when I first got it. 
and I washed it, I pressure washed and I got water in there. I don't know if I got to clean it up or if I blew it up, but I did clean take the water out before I started it again. But the light doesn't work. It's kind of a neat thing. It tells you when the generator's on and the light's on. Now, this one came with the shroud on top. I'm sorry, from the factory, I think it came with the shroud on top, I think. But you can see the clamp, but it didn't come with it when I got it. See right there? There's usually a hood that goes over that. Okay, now, I just heard as I was there, one of the ones shut off. The, I heard the uh, engine kick up a little bit. And what had happened was... Uh, too many watts went through the kilowatt, and, and the kilowatt shut off. So you see this particular one here. Yeah, it's not running anymore. It's very windy. I wait, uh, you can see the the reason it's blowing there is because of the wind, but it's off. And notice the hertz went up to 61. at 122. So what happened is this trip. Too many watts to that uh, kilowatt. That one's still running. That one's still running. Now I got you see 245 through the 240 volt transformer. do is turn this one off. You can hear the load change. Feel pretty good there. Pretty good there. And we'll go ahead and shut this one off. Okay. Back at 125 watts. Almost 61 hertz. Come over here now. You can see we're up to 249, 250. Everything's off right now. Just let it cool down. Let it run unloaded there for a minute or two. All right, there you go. On in, 5CCK, full start. Shut her down.